undefeated <laughs> Y'all that I run things, y'all better things. believe me. Things. Spin the earth on my finger like round ball yeah. on my globe trotter. That's easy. No lie. What up, everybody in the YTBC? So I did try to record this video earlier before I started work. I wasn't too happy with the recording, so I just deleted it. And um, I'm off work now. Decided that I was gonna go ahead and give it another try because I got something that I normally don't have which is a little extra time. So what I really want to talk about in this video, and it's funny because I I recorded this video, like I said, and I heard um, Max Rider One speaking on it. Big shout out to him. And um, like I said on my thank you video, he's the one that you hear in the um, intro on my Freestyle Friday videos. He he was saying some real shit in a way that I thought was funny and um, just put a beat to it and I thought it was you know it really I really feel the way that he the passion and everything he was putting really embodied how I feel about the sport as a whole so anyways he did a really good video about the assumptions about Anthony Joshua being on PEDs um you haven't checked it out please go check it out and you know i wasn't gonna try to redo this video because he did such a good job but i still want to kind of put in my insight there's some things that i want to say because anthony joshua is not the only one that this happens to or that this is happening to this happens to a slew of fighters and um i just want to set the record straight all right I do not like when any fighter is accused of using PEDs when there is no proof, okay? Has nothing to do with race, has nothing to do with skin color. I don't like that it's happening to Anthony Joshua. I don't like that it's happening to Triple G. I haven't seen any videos about Triple G, uh, you know, accusations of him being on steroids, but I've seen comments. Um, I don't, I didn't like when the whole analysis of, um, of, um, Errol Spence Jr., his nipples, I didn't like that. I mean, I get it, I get it. It's, it's a sign that he could be on PEDs. I get it. Here's the thing. Could also be genetics, you know? And I've heard the same thing about Manny Pacquiao on the size of his head. Look, I got a, I got a big head myself. I've never touched a PED in my life. The, some of the stuff is just the genetic, you know? And just because this, this guy, you know, you don't like a fighter and, and they're doing something that you don't think they should be able to do, doesn't mean that they're on PEDs, all right? Here's the thing you have to understand. These guys are professionals, okay? And Floyd Mayweather, he likes to say I made a hundred, you know, three hundred million dollars in one night, which is actually not accurate, okay? Because yes, the fight happened in one night, and he got, you know, allegedly got paid over three hundred million dollars. Whether he did or not is not really of any importance to me, all right? I'm just glad the fight happened. I'm not happy about the way that it turned out. And I'm not even talking about Manny Pacquiao losing. I'm talking about just the fact that I think it kind of hurt the sport because a lot of cat, you know, very, people that I know never watch boxing watch that match and it ended up being a boring fight in many people's eyes. And a lot of people felt cheated. So, but anyways, that statement is not correct because there was a lot of, you know, there was months of training he had to do. There was promoting he had to do. So the time that he spent promoting, the time that he, the money he spent promoting, um, 
because that come you know that comes out of his own pocket you know what i'm saying he didn't but in actuality he didn't make th over 300 million dollars in one night he um you know there was costs that were involved and there was training that was involved and that's the thing these guys train so hard and they you know they sacrifice time with their family you know they sp they spend countless hours in the gym every day to get ready for a fight and for you to just go ahead and accuse a guy just because you don't like him and he's beating your you know your favorite fighters are being compared to your favorite fighter you want to do anything you can to diminish his name i think is 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 a bit ridiculous you know it's there's absolutely no proof that anthony joshua was on peds um once again big shout out to mex rider one on his video he was talking about how um how they do things in the uk it was very educational and um i thank him for that because i learned some stuff i didn't know me being you know somebody who's lived in the united states all his life so it, w it was a good insight to show that you know had he been on peds during his amateur career more than likely he would have been caught now are these tests 100 percent? no there's not no they're not oh sorry but you know it's it's you know the testing is still very good so doesn't mean that he's not using but you're really just talking out your ass if you're accusing him of using too same thing with triple g um i forget where i heard it but supposedly triple g has been under constant um drug testing because he he fights so often he he gets drug test he's been drug tested pretty consistently for the past three years if i'm not mistaken i, I could be wrong but i think that's what i think that is the case that he's been tested consistently for three for the past three years and has passed every time so just you know just stop with this stuff like everybody has the fighters that they like everybody has the fighters that they don't like but stop throwing your emotions into it and trying to diminish somebody's name off of shit you have no factual basis on and that's what I'm getting at. I didn't like it when it happened to um, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's been accused of PED use, you know, for many, many years. And, um, you know, it, it... And there's no factual basis. But a lot of these people who've been making those accusations are Floyd fans. And Floyd got caught with the IV. Now, the IV does not mean that he was using anything. But there's a potential that he was masking something. It's a potential. I'm not saying that he was on anything because I honestly don't know. I'm not going to throw those accusations out there. However, I will say this. If you're going to throw an accusation on somebody when there's absolutely no factual basis on it, then you need to be doing the same thing for everyone. And when there is factual basis, that means if this person's guilty with no factual basis, this person is definitely guilty with with some kind of funky factual basis going on. So, anyways, I said all that just to make this one very simple point. All right, a lot of people need to grow up all right you accuse people of doing stuff and then you're doing the very thing you're accusing them of doing hold have some kind of integrity hold some kind of standard and hold yourself to that standard if you're not going to hold yourself to that standard please don't hold anybody else to it because it's just childish all right Anyways, to all my subscribers, um, anybody who just, you know, just listens to my videos, or if you just so happen to stumble upon this video, hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace. How you think you don't stop the movement? You ain't that important, baby. I'ma keep moving. Oh, How you think you don't stop the movement?